Uh, it's an honor to be emceeing tonight's Mr. GQ. It's our fifth and fifth GQ, and uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I can't do this alone. So please help me welcome Miss Teen California USA, yeah. Athena Crosby. to be emceeing a pageant instead of, you know, being in it itself? Um, well, it's kind of different emceeing tonight instead of actually being in the pageant, but it's no less exciting, Austin. All right, would you like the honors of introducing our judges tonight? Absolutely. What do you say we get to meet the people who will be picking Mr. GQ 2016? <laughs> this year. Please give it up for Kevin Tibbs. Last but not least, let's welcome the mastermind behind all of Leland's drama productions. Everybody, make sure to go see The Addams Family, which premieres April 21st, right here at Leland. And let's welcome Miss LaJoy! So I don't think our boys have been formally introduced, so uh, how about we go to the podium and let's get this started. sprinting across campus in his infamous dad jeans. Guys are jealous of his calves and girls are jealous of his butt, which can work, work, work better than Rihanna's. <laughs> he loves photography and filmmaking, and don't be fooled by his smooth demeanor, because under that on fleek hair is a Star Wars loving dork. Since fifth grade, Trevor's wanted to be a broadcast journalist and will be spending the next four years of his education at USC as a Trojan. Please welcome Trevor Sahaki. Trevor Sahaki, I love you! Where are you? Oh! Oh! oh. Trevor, you sexy beast! I love you!
have Justin Yevin Lee, or just Yevin Lee. Uh, you'll probably find him at the gym looking at himself instead of actually lifting weights. Uh, he spends an average of three to four hours on a day on his hair, making sure every strand is in the perfect place. Yevin says he's exceptionally skilled at being just okay at everything, but really bad at nothing. In his free time, Yevin enjoys being a professional amateur food enthusiast and plans on having a cooking show on Cartoon Network. As a self-proclaimed mama's boy, Yevin wants to stay close to home, which influenced his decision, this decision to spend his education at Santa Clara University. So, let's give it up for Yevin Lee. Mr. Thompson is inspired by the late and great Robin Williams, 
Broadway star Jonathan Groff and his own parents, along with his three supportive older sisters. If Brady had to describe himself in one word, it would be impeccable. Stay tuned for this personable contestant's amazing acts, including his final message to the audience. Stay classy, Almaden. And if you're lucky enough, you may get to see him do some pretty hot dance moves. Let's welcome Brady Thompson! <laughs> Being a mama's boy, his mom still clips his nails and packs him bag lunches. Thankfully, he'll be attending San Jose State next year so he can stay close to his mom, his home, and his mom's cooking. <laughs> Another fun fact is that John has the universal donor blood type O negative, which is definitely fitting for his generous hostile personality. <laughs> Tonight, watch John as he retakes the stage, hoping to lead with the crown. John Padilla. Besides hoping to earn Senior Class Most Spirited Award, his aspiration in life is to acquire the title of Mr. GQ 2016. Connor is also running for ASB President. 